What's going on, guys? Welcome to the stream. We're playing Forza Motorsport 7 today. And this time we'll be playing on PC. Some of you may know that I've been working really hard on kind of creating a better streaming experience. So now if you guys follow the channel or do all sorts of stuff using the Super Chat, you'll see your name pop on the screen. Um, so I encourage you to do it. You will also uh, potentially be able to do all sorts of kind of interactions with um, with the stream. Every time someone follows the channel now, um, it pops up, which is kind of cool. Uh, it kind of gives you an idea of how how fast we might be we might be growing. Uh, not sure I'm going to keep that um, all the time, but um, yeah, it is kind of cool to see like how the how the whole uh, community is, oh my god, is uh, is growing as 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 we're streaming, and how other people are following and, and kind of interacting with the channel. So, yeah, I'll also be reading the comments as they go. And uh, welcome to this. I think this is our fifth fifth porn stream. Um. Not counting the fundraiser that we did recently. Um, so yeah, welcome. We're playing Forza uh, Motorsport 7. Kind of picking back up where we left off last time. In our uh, muscle car muscle car championship. Um, yeah. So if during the stream you guys are having fun, you want to support the channel, uh, feel free to use the super chat. If you use a super chat, there will be some sort of uh, special pop-up on the screen because we're using a new software. And if you guys are interested, you can also bump the quality of the stream to uh, 1080, 60, or 720, 60, so you'll get a higher refresh rate, which is kind of cool. So yeah, welcome to Corn Stream number five. We start doing those. Um, following the stay-at-home orders and uh, yeah to kind of give you some sort of entertainment because we are also stuck at home you guys saw that we also have uh, just like regular content on the channel but uh, it is a little different because we can't necessarily do the same things that we used to because of the stay-at-home orders so we decided to create some uh, some new content so you'll see a lot of new things including these um, these streams and if you guys don't know we started a new um, we started a new YouTube channel where you can have even more um, even more video game fun it's called Redline Reviews Gaming uh, where we stream games that aren't necessarily just racing games but other kinds of games I've been streaming some uh, NHL because I miss hockey. Also been streaming some shooter games and all that kind of stuff. So if you guys are interested, make sure to subscribe. Um, in our most recent videos, you will also see uh, in the description a link to subscribe. So welcome to the stream. Um, you know, sit back, enjoy your Sunday afternoon. Stuck at home. We're playing Forza Motorsport 7. This is kind of cool. It's a fun game. I must say, though, if you're not subscribed to Redline Gaming, you ought to give it a shot because seeing me play NHL 20 is uh, contains a lot of a lot of drama and a lot of fun reactions. So make sure to subscribe. Also, if you are interested in um, If you are interested in uh, contributing to those, the, the channel and helping us, you can use the Super Chat function, which is available today in the chat. And uh, with this new software that we're using today, you should see some sort of pop-up on the screen uh, if you decide to do so. So that's kind of cool. Kind of a way to thank you all.
so we're racing a kind of old Ford Mustang right here. Um, last time we did the our corn stream, you guys picked up um, muscle cars as the next kind of championship that we needed to do. So this is what we're doing. We are also live on our Facebook page. If you don't follow us on Facebook, um, to follow us on Facebook, like the red line on Facebook, and you can also see these streams. Uh, we're also on Instagram, redline underscore reviews, and redline underscore reviews underscore gaming is our sister page. So yeah, I hope you're having fun. I will be looking at the comments throughout, probably during loadings. Um, so yeah. For those of you who don't know me, I am Vince. I am the social media guy here at Redline. Been with the team since November. Um, for those of you who aren't aware, obviously running a, a, a YouTube channel at Redline is, is not a one, one person job. It takes more people than that. So you guys are used to seeing Sofian, our host, obviously. He's the face of the channel, but we also have Rob, our videographer, who works on making sure that the videos that you guys see are uh, uh, nice and good looking and interesting and entertaining. Um, a lot of our communications is handled by me, but it's a team effort. We also have uh, Adam in the background that's running all the operations, all the stuff that's related to business and analytics. Anyway, the fun stuff as we finish first. Because you guys know, I like to be first. Hi, everybody. We don't have a Twitch channel. Um, we have a gaming channel. Um, but we may have a Twitch channel soon, so stay tuned for that. Uh, for now, we have a gaming channel on YouTube called Redline Reviews Gaming. Um, I'm gonna ha I'm gonna try to have um, this channel linked uh, in the comments eventually. So uh, stay tuned for that. And yeah, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad you guys are having fun. Enjoying the channel. I hope you guys have been uh, having fun um, watching some of the, our other live content in the past few days where we... Uh, where uh, Sofian went live with um, a few people. He went live with... Um, Recently, he went live with Clint from Motor One, uh, Jason Camisa. Uh, we also had uh, a couple with Alex from Alex on Auto. So, if you guys have missed those, uh, feel free to go check those out on our channel. But it's more fun when they're live. So, if you want to make sure that you're aware of when we post, the best way to do it is to um, is to not only subscribe but also ring that notification bell. Racing in Daytona right now. So uh, we've been playing this game on Xbox before, and I've been hard at work trying to make it work uh, on my gaming PC with the stream and all that kind of stuff. So, because some of you had requested that we play some more PC games, um, so yeah, if you want to see, if you want to see what the PC. Uh, that we're using looks like, uh, be sure to check out the Redline Reviews Gaming Instagram page. Um, we just posted pictures of the brand new rig. So if you guys are into that stuff, it's custom built PC, water cooled, all the fun stuff. Um, and yeah, we're using, we have two PCs that we're using for gaming. Uh, one of them has a brand new RX 27E Super. From Nvidia, and the older rig has a Crossfire 290X, uh, also water cooled. 
So pretty interesting PCs. One of them obviously is a little older a hardware, but they're pretty powerful overall and uh, allow us to do things like streaming and encoding at the same time, which isn't necessarily the easiest thing. If some of you have tried to do some uh, any kind of video editing or video work or you know kind of creating content, um, it takes a lot of horsepower. And gaming obviously takes a lot of horsepower, so yeah. So, as you guys may have noticed, this amazing Mustang is called a King Cobra. And it is a fun muscle car to drive in this game. Um, I'm pretty sure it's fun to drive in real life, I haven't driven one myself, but, you know, it's one of those things. Can drive them in real life? Doesn't mean can drive them in the virtual world. As we're racing here in beautiful Daytona clearly in the virtual world here, not affected by the pandemic. No chance of catching a biological virus, and hopefully the PC is well protected, it's not going to catch any digital viruses either. So feel free to use the chat to, you know, chat among yourse amongst yourself. Um, ask me questions, whatever you guys want to know. If you guys have any questions about any upcoming or current Redline projects, stuff that I can share, I'll be happy to share with you. So, yeah, feel free to ask. I'll try to look at the comments um, in between races so I don't crash. Um, I also have a handy little screen here where I can see some of what you guys are saying. You know, some of you are obviously more relevant than others, but if you are one of the relevant people, then more power to you. Oh, this turn. Didn't hit the wall. Didn't hit the wall. A beautiful car, although he needs a paint job now. That's my fault. Need some body work. Everything is cheaper in the virtual world. So if you guys have any, you know, racing games that you would like us to stream, I know some people have uh, requested G uh, GT, Gran Turismo, on the PlayStation. Um, I do have a PlayStation, so that's something that's coming up. Um, Gran Turismo. Um, also, if you guys have, you know, any games that you like to play, feel free to share, racing or not. Um, it doesn't matter. We might be able to uh, stream them on the gaming channel. It's always fun to kind of talk about, you know, what other people are playing. Because, you know, a lot of people that are into cars are also into racing games and other types of games. Um, obviously, racing games are part of the... are part of the bigger, you know, call culture. It's not just about actual um, cars. It's also about racing games and racing in general. Um, so that's cool. And this magnificent turn here. That engine, though, sounds beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Ugh, best 90s sports car. Ugh. <laughs> it's funny to think that Nissan would be in the lot, right? Considering how they're doing right now. But uh I I know I know Mazda wasn't as good in the 90s, but to me it has to be Mazda. Just love that brand. Just love that brand. It's a Flash 23. You had a Cobra when you were a kid. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool, man. Any chance we might review classic cars or imports in the future? Actually, we have some plans in the future. Um, I'm not going to spoil too much, but uh, stay tuned. 
because there's a potential that we're going to have access to uh, more cars in the future. And that's definitely something that we put in our plans as far as, you know, not just reviewing new cars, but also giving updates on cars that, you know, as far as ownership is concerned, obviously we own cars. We can't own all the cars at the same time. Um, but um, reviewing classic cars and imports, yeah, definitely in the, def definitely in the works. It's a little more complicated, but um, definitely something that we talk as a team. So stay tuned for that. Good question. Oh man, I bet it was quick, Flash 23. That sounds like a pretty fast Cobra. That sounds like a pretty fast Cobra. All right, I think we got one more race in this championship. This will be a night race, so prepare for limited a night race. Oh, Daytona, I hate. I love that other track in Daytona, but I don't like the classic Daytona USA track. Anyway. Best Lexus SUV for 10 and 12 year old boys? Well, it depends. Uh, I guess the one that has the more comfortable back seat. Because <laughs> you can't drive. Alright, night, night racing, guys. Night racing. There's also some other plans in the work, potentially, uh, for Redline once their quarantine is over. Um, as far as diversifying the kind of content that we're doing. Um, we're not sure yet if uh, these streams are going to stay on the main channel. Obviously, I think a lot of you guys are enjoying them and we're reaching a bigger audience when we do them on the main channel. Uh, but this is also why we started the second channel. But um, it needs to grow. So I'm going to try to put a link to the, uh, to the gaming channel in the description. Uh, but as far... Oh my god, this guy wants me dead. Um... As far as uh, racing games are concerned, I'm, I'm thinking we're co we're gonna continue to have a few streams because you know why not? They're they're not t too complicated to make. Um, they're fun to watch for some of you. Uh, they're fun to do for me. Um, might get some other YouTubers on them as well uh, to play online. So yeah, good stuff. Um, they're also good for charity. Uh, if you guys don't know, we recently. Um, did a uh, fundraiser for Feeding America Food Bank, um, and we did it through a uh, two gaming streams. So one of them was a five-hour marathon that I did on a Saturday, and another one was about an hour just to get us over the hump of our uh, $500 goal, and we ended up with I think 600 and something dollars, which is kind of amazing. Um, Thank you for those who donated at the time. Um, if you guys want to support Redline, um, feel free to use the Super Chat function. Um, if you do, with our new um, with our new setup here, your uh, your contribution will pop on screen, which is kind of cool. Um, and also, if you have any questions and I see in a Super Chat, I'll make sure to give you a shout out. Make sure to answer your question. Thank you for liking the stream. If you like the stream, you're going to see your name pop on screen. It's another good reason to like it. Be positive. Avoid the thumbs down, which is so easy. So easy to click on the internet when you like to complain about everything. But if you guys like to give some support, click the, click the like button. Help the stream. Help the channel and you'll see your name pop on screen. Which is kinda neat. Which is kinda neat. This was a nighttime race, but it's more like dawn or dusk. It's not that dark. Oh, we got some super chat. I see you. I see you. I will soon soon look at what you wrote, you wrote oh Mika I know I'm doing well man Mika is a big fan of the channel guys Mika is a, is, is a beast I'm doing well man I hope you're doing well too staying safe staying healthy as much as possible try to try to work out in my front yard for those of you who follow again the 
the gaming channel, you know that I miss hockey dearly as a hockey player. So I've been streaming some NHL. If you want, if you guys want to see that, um, subscribe to the channel. You will uh, see a link to that gaming channel in the description. Um, yeah, you will see me use some uh, interesting language to follow uh, YouTube guidelines while I uh, play online against strangers that are sometimes sometimes better than me, but most of the times I'm better than them, which is good. And uh, when I score, make a nice play, we all celebrate as a group in the chat with emojis. So make sure to follow us. Redline Reviews Gaming. So, um, you should see the link in the description if you guys want to go subscribe to that channel. We appreciate your support. As the channel is growing, we'll be able to, you know, do more stuff on it too and invest more and kind of cater it to the audience, which is always our goal. Um, got a new subscriber. New subscriber. Welcome to the family. And thank you for subscribing. Thanks again, Mika, for the donation. Appreciate you. Hope you are doing well. Hope you're staying safe. Can you play Forza on iPhone? No, you can't. Forza is on PC and Xbox. It's a Microsoft franchise. Although if you buy um, the digital version, uh, you can... Um, you, you, you basically get both. You get PC and Xbox version. So that's kind of cool. So this game, I bought on Xbox digi digitally, and I have it on PC as well. What's going on, Riley? Riley is also a big fan of the channel. He's been on. Uh, he's also a subscriber to Redline Reviews Gaming, as well as, as well as Redline Reviews. We appreciate his support. And I think this is the last race of this championship. As we're racing this pretty king, king cobra. Also, if you guys are interested with this new software um, that we're using, because nowadays with the quarantine and all that kind of stuff, uh, YouTube is limiting the default quality of videos. So you might be seeing this in 480p um, without even knowing it. So if you go in the settings in your video, you'll be able to select 1080p60 or 720p60, and you'll see the video in much higher quality uh, and much higher frame rate. So make sure to do that if your uh, if your bandwidth allows it. Ooh. Get out of my way! I kind of like this track. Oh, this is an, uh, this is a track that was added, if I remember correctly, this track was added in Forza Motorsport 2, the second one on Xbox 360. Um, been racing it ever since. For those of you who are interested in retro gaming, um, I am playing quite a bit of retro racing games also on the gaming channel, including um, the almighty uh, Need for Speed Underground 2. Um, for those of you that grew up in like the mid 2000s, um, that was like that was the game. That was the game to play, and like all the old Need for Speed from that era. And I feel like I repeat myself every time I stream, but all the old Need for Speed from that era, are really good. So we've been, uh, I've been streaming those on the on the gaming channel. And um, potentially we'll be streaming some of uh, the original Forza Motorsport on the original Xbox as well. Because uh, it holds surprisingly well. As a contender to uh, Gran Turismo at the time, Gran Turismo 3 and 4, uh, Forza Motorsport was pretty good. And uh, stay tuned for, uh, for GT Sport, that's coming as well. 
on the PlayStation. Been also streaming some uh, Grid, the remaster version. It's kind of cool, more arcadey, and also obviously Forza Horizon, which is kind of classic. What a start! Yeah, I know, right? When you play on easy, when you play on easy, you can you can just freaking gun it. Cause you know, I'm not I'm not the best at racing games, although I'm pretty good at shooters. If again. You guys want to see some some uh, different games? I've been streaming some Doom Eternal. I know Riley has been a big fan of uh, of our Doom Doom Eternal streams. We're almost at the end of that game, so that's like uh, that's an adrenaline pack game. Um, that's pretty fun. Pretty fun to watch. Pretty fun to stream. Pretty fun to play. And also some uh, Gears 5 on the gaming channel as well, on PC and on Xbox. Some people have requested some Call of Duty. Um, I, f I played the most recent Call of Duty on PlayStation, and it is pretty good. Um, it is actually really, really good. Um, potentially we'll start playing this online, but I'm really not the best at playing um, Call of Duty online. And I don't think I have what it takes to handle all of the all the 12 year olds that are like playing this non-stop now that the <laughs> that there's no school but we'll see if there's enough requests I'll, I can play it and if you guys want to see some GTA GTA 5 well if I stream GTA 5 it's most likely going to be um, the PS3 version because I have that on PS3 because I bought it when it came out and I know it came out since on PC and Xbox One and PS4. Potentially you could play on, on Xbox One because uh, it's on Game Pass, but um, I think it would it would be cool to kind of jump back into the OG PS3 version. I will look at your comments as soon as we're done with this game, uh, this race, because I have I see on my screen that you guys are kind of... Uh, going on in the chat. So let me just get some more winning here. Sound of those tires. Music to my ears. It's kind of cool to see how detailed the car is and also like the fact that you can see like the interior really well. If I were to actually jump in, it's kind of neat. Although, I am not good enough to play in this, uh, using this camera. Again, if you guys are cool and you would like to support the, the streams and the channel, feel free to use the super chat. It's always cool to see you guys contribute. Oh yeah, Call of Duty is better than Fortnite. Any day. I mean, unpopular opinion, I think, but not a fan of Fortnite. I just I just can't. I'm sure it would be good. Um, PC specs in uh, the gaming channel. So we have two gaming PCs. We have, for your question, regular pilot. So we have um, one brand new PC that, is, that has a, a 2070 Super RTX. Uh, with an i7-4770K. The other one also has a i7-4770K processor with um, two uh, Crossfire water-cooled uh, 290Xs so from AMD. When am I playing Doom? Uh, soon. I promise, dude. I promise I'll get to it on the other channel. Just bought a bunch of original racing games, Mika, Midnight Club, uh, Midnight Club 2, I want to get back into that. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2, yes, I have that one on PS2. Rally Sport Challenge, Project Gotham Racing, I have Project Gotham Racing, the first one. So, yeah, that's exciting stuff. Looks like a lot of chat about the, about the, someone's dream car, let's keep, 
coming back up. Good for you, man. Have a dream car. Live your life. Meanwhile, I'll continue to play my video games. Alright, let's move on to the next one. And depending on what time you guys watch these streams, there's either coffee or something else in this mug. That it's coffee right now, even though it's kind of late for coffee, but oh well. Um, Alright, what else should we do here? Um, not interested in that. Ooh. Fiesta. Nah. Really sports stirring. That's kind of interesting. MX5. Huh. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Sports touring. Hmm. Supercars. Oh, supercars. Supercars are fun. I think we're gonna go with. Uh, the Camaro ended up being not just a feisty little brother of the Corvette, but the volume seller of the muscle car. Okay, you could that's not a Camaro. Them. Let's see if we can buy one. Um. So is it me or Alfa Romeo had like? They were ahead of the curve in the nineties. Because the back of the car looks very 90s. But then you see the front of the car and you're like, you know what? Kind of modern looking. Kind of modern looking. I mean, kind of looks like Wally, but Wally's cool. Yeah, I think I'm going to race that. <laughs> I think I'm going to buy this car. Do I have enough money? I don't care about it. Creator going colors. Yeah, let's go red. Bye. Bye. I'm not going to talk about politics, guys, or current events. I'm not going to do that. This is not a channel for that. There's plenty of 24 7 news channel you guys can follow and read one advice read don't just watch TV uh, Turing no I didn't go with Turing dude yeah man regular pilot you know what's good coffee is good coffee is good at any time coffee is good before vodka and after vodka coffee is always good Maserati for life. Mm hmm. Miata for life. No, you are right. It is not a channel for news, so we're not going to talk about it. I mean, we talk about car news. What's going to What's going on in the car world right now is all the auto shows are uh, canceled. But um, stay tuned for more uh, live unveiling. Oh, this car's a beauty. Look at that. that sound and that upcoming crash but yeah um, most of the auto shows are cancelled if not all the auto shows are cancelled or postponed at this point uh, you guys know that we cover those quite a bit and um, a lot of the companies are moving to virtual unveiling or vir virtual events so we cover most of them uh, through first looks, so uh, be sure to check uh, the channel regularly, and again, like subscribe or ring the bell. Um, we like to do videos on them. Obviously, it's not the same as what we can provide to you when we're uh, when we're live, but it's certainly some some fun. It's it's fun to still talk about it, document it, give impression, and then you know once we'll be able to see it in person, we can revisit. Oh my God, the brakes on this thing. So yeah, um, other news that we can talk about, gaming news, I guess, um, E3 is not a thing this year. As you guys know, there's a lot of, uh, 
fun gaming stuff coming up with the new PlayStation, PlayStation 5, and Xbox Series X coming out at the end of the year, potentially, we hope. Um, I'll be sure to get at least one of those. Um, and, uh, and I'll be sure to stream new games as the year progresses. Um, so yeah, subscribe to the gaming channel. Link in the description. And also, um, I'm quite quite excited about the idea of a uh, a brand new Forza, brand new Forza Horizon, brand new Forza Motorsport um, on the new consoles. Um, I mean, even on the Xbox One X, these last few games have been running at 4K, so they're just absolutely incredibly good looking. Um, so I'm really excited to see what they're going to do with the new consoles. Um, especially considering that they're going to use uh, graphics technology that isn't um, that isn't available right now. You know, when the Xbox One and the PS4 came out, you could buy a, you know, at the time I think it was like a 70, 7970 or, you know, RX 480 uh, equivalent to a PS4 and an Xbox One. And you could buy certainly Jaguar's CPU, but now with the new consoles, you can't get RDNA 2.0. Um, you can get Ryzen CPU, but you can't get R RDNA 2.0 yet. So I think it's going to be very interesting to see how how powerful and, and efficient these new consoles are going to be, especially with uh, SSD technology kind of integrated now in the whole thing. And lots of fast RAM. Going from uh, GDDR5 to GDDR6 for you nerds out here. Can talk about that all day. Fun fact about um, uh, the Forza Motorsport series. Even though the game renders at um, 60 FPS, so that's, on PC it can go higher. I mean, right now I'm have it locked to 60 because um, my monitor or television is a is a 60 hertz TV so I wanna I don't want any tearing so it's locked at 60 but anyway so the game is is kinda designed to operate at 60 but all the physics and the simulation behind you know the car handling and all that kind of stuff uh, runs at 120 so that's a lot of calculations for uh, the CPU Winning with this beautiful car. The crew too, yeah, the crew too eventually. Dude, you only have to say it once, man. Especially because you misspelled it a couple times. Let's move on to the next race. Doom 3? Yeah, Doom 3. Old game. New subscriber. OS Tariq. Don't know who that is. But welcome to the channel. So for those of you who have actually played Doom, um... Eternal. Which one's the best, in your opinion? Doom Eternal or Doom 2016? Hard to say. I think Doom Eternal is, like, a better game mechanically. But I believe that I... I don't know. Maybe because Doom 2016 was so new. Like, the whole... I don't know. The whole, like, new engine, the fast pace, it was kind of a revival for Doom. I felt like it was potentially better, but I don't know. It's hard to say. I am enjoying Doom Doom Eternal quite a bit, but Doom 2016 was a little more simple. There's more strategy than a new one.
I'm also tempted to stream some... Oh my god, get out of my way. I'm also tempted to stream um, some Gran Turismo 6, which is the last kind of full entry in the series, because, you know, the one on PS4... Oh my god, what's going on here? The one on PS4 um, is Gran Turismo Sports, so it's not Gran Turismo 7. Um, so the last, like, full numbered Gran Turismo is Gran Turismo 6 on the PS3, and I actually really, really liked that game. It was so much better than the Gran Turismo 5 that took forever to come out, and then, like, just, I think, a year or two later, they came out with Gran Turismo 6, which is better. Um, so I'm tempted to, to stream some of that as well. Um, it's not going to look as sharp as, you know, GT Sport, obviously, because it's on PS3 and not PS4, but it is, you know, more of a classic Gran Turismo. So that's certainly something I'm interested in doing in the ongoing, in the never-ending war between Forza and Gran Turismo. I think when it comes to the fun factor and, in, like, innovation, Forza has definitely been better. But, you know, GT still is potentially more of a simulation than Forza. Um, but it is, it is debatable. There's also Project Cars, but that's just a mess, in my opinion, to handle. It's a good game, but... There's, there are too many things that frustrate me about Project Cars. From the inconsistent presentation to just, like, quality of life mismanagements. Looks like of the few people that have decided to give their opinions on, on Doom, Doom 2016 is the preferred one. Uh, is it though? Is it? Every time I think like, oh, it's it's better, right? Like, then I'm reminded of how how much of a an actual technological leap Doom Doom Eternal is. You know, it's running on a brand new engine that you know ditches mega texture, uses physically based rendering. It's there's more strategy, like, the mechanics of the game are just much more complex and refined. But yet, Doom 2016 might be a better game. Interesting. The platforming in Doom Eternal is kind of meh. I mean, it is... It is meh and not meh. <laughs> But it's certainly not, like, a highlight. The story is more fleshed out. Um, if I get the Crew 2, it's most likely going to be on Xbox and not PS4, simply because um, it runs at 4K on, PS on the Xbox One X, and even though my streaming setup is my Xbox One S is set up for my streaming. Um, the Xbox One, and my Xbox One X is, is my primary kind of gaming console, so I think that it would look better on, on Xbox One X than it would look on PS4 Pro. But, I mean, it is, it is the same game, ultimately. Yeah, Dead Space. There you go, man. Dead Space. That That's the game. Although it is not Doom-like. It is a third-person shooter. It is much more survival horror. I feel like Dead Space is is what Resident Evil, Resident Evil, in space would be, more than like you know Doom is more of a shooter. Doom the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Funny guy. Alright, let's go next race. I love this car, by the way. 
Hope you guys are enjoying the stream. Again, feel free to show us your support in any way, shape, or form. Um, if you decide to use the super chat, um, there will be a pop-up on the screen thanking you, and we will be forever grateful for your support. Because it takes an army to run a YouTube channel. Small army, but still. An army of dedicated people. They're willing to put their face on the internet. Hope y'all are staying safe. I don't know what state you are. According to our analytics, um, a lot of people are uh, in New York. Paul G, you're playing Gran Turismo right now. You're playing Gran Turismo Sports, I'm assuming, on PS4. How is it? I heard that it improved quite a bit with the... Uh, with the updates that they've been giving the game. Because when it launched, it was a little bit bare bone. It was more like they wanted it to be like fully online or constantly online, and you know, it was just kind of annoying when you just want to just want to play the game. You know, don't want to compete with random people online all the time. Hello, uh, Riley in New Hampshire, if I'm seeing this correctly. I'm assuming it's still cold up there. The northeast. We're located in Virginia, so we're in the... We're in the beautiful south. Where it's already humid outside. And summers are brutal. And winters are, for the most part, non-existent. Skiing is much better up there. Much better than it is when we have to travel to West Virginia or, you know, the mountains. Funny story, I used to play lacrosse in Vermont, so that's a neighboring state to New Hampshire, I think. And I love the Northeast. Summers up there are perfect. Just absolutely perfect. And people are more into hockey up there than they are here. So I feel more at home. in Virginia. It's all about the sweet tea. <laughs> I'm cracking myself up. Hope everybody is enjoying the stream as I'm driving on the grass. As I'm racing, racing in Forza Motorsport 7 that we played previously on Xbox and right now we're playing on PC. Just because, just because we can. I 
again, for those of you that are interested, uh, make sure to make sure to subscribe to our gaming channel, Redline Reviews Gaming. Uh, the link should be in the description or in the chat somewhere. Um, you will see a lot more gaming content if you're interested in this. If you're interested in uh, these streams, you'll see a lot more games. And uh, some uh, some different kinds of let's play and uh, different kinds of uh, you know more I, wouldn't, I mean more interactive I mean it depends like you know racing games are fun they're definitely gear they're de they definitely fit with um, with redline reviews with the main channel so we're not gonna stop those anytime soon but um, yeah link in the description subscribe ring the bell help us grow be cool. Be cool. Unsweetened tea is gross. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It depends. Hot tea or cold tea? We'll debate tea forever. Yeah, man. I want some coffee. Make me... What are you going to make, uh, regular pilot? Are you going to make some uh, espresso? I'll have espresso or um, French press. My go-to. What's the point of driving in a racetrack? I don't know. I mean, it seems pretty self-explanatory, but oh well. Can't please everybody. Cold tea? Yeah, cold tea. Okay, cold tea. Is sweet cold tea better than... I mean, sweet cold tea is better in your, in your face, but for your health, unsweetened tea is better. But it is kind of gross. Oh, night racing again. Making espresso? There you go, man. That is... That is sweet music to my ears. Some people say I drink too much coffee, but I disagree with them. Because what do they know? What do they know? They haven't, they haven't seen the light. Yeah, I know I'm destroying the AI, dude. I know. But I am I don't want to I don't want to have to think. This is not skill base. This is entertainment. Watch me play NHL online on the other channel and then you'll see me struggle with real life. I mean, real life. Quotation marks. I mean, I could make it a little bit... A little more difficult, considering that, like, I make it to the first turn, and I'm in first. But... That's a different story. Alright, so we've had pretty interesting conversations so far about coffee, tea, the northeast, the southeast. What else should we talk about? What else is on your mind, folks? Share with us, or with me, as I'm slipping through this corner here. Beautiful graphics. Look at these reflections. Reflections are definitely, um, they definitely look better on PC than they do on, uh, on Xbox One. Although they do look better on Xbox One X. Because they are 4K.
Is the game better than Gran Turismo? That's... That's a question. I don't know. Um, they... They are competing franchises. Um, some people are diehard Gran Turismo fans. Some people are diehard... Um, Forza fan, personally. I've been playing more Forza recently, but I do love Gran Turismo. Um, I haven't bought Gran Turismo Sports yet, because when it came out, it was kind of meh. It was more of an online game, which I'm not... You know, I, I want a career. I want to I wanna be able to do stuff like this. But I heard that with the new updates, it's a lot better. Um, so I will be getting Gran Turismo Sports soon. But I am a fan of Gran Turismo 6 on the PS3, and we were talking earlier about uh, potentially streaming that on the channel. Um, because it is the last, like, numbered entry in Gran Turismo series. And, um, it is really good, in my opinion, anyway. But Forza is just... I don't know. It, it feels like it's more... fun. But I don't know if it's better. If that makes any sense. If I played, oh, Mika, if I played hockey in real life, dude, I played hockey, before this thing happened, I would play hockey, like, every weekend. I've been playing hockey all my life. I missed this thing so much, and then all my leagues got canceled because of this, which I, you know, again, fully support. It's completely understandable, but, um, yeah. I do play hockey in real life. Used to be a goalie, now I'm playing defense because I was tired of being blamed for everything. <laughs> yeah, I play hockey. I love it. I miss it. So that's why I play uh, NHL on the PlayStation. So, John Diaz, you recommend Forza, um, Gran Turismo Sport? I will be getting Gran Turismo Sport, because a lot of people requested uh, that we play it on the channel. So, um, definitely going to get it soon. So, thanks for the recommendation. I know that it's a lot better now with the new updates, so... Um, I mean, TFL... Matt and Alex have been on on our streams with Sofian quite a bit, so um, make sure to jump in, Brian, next time they are live and ask them to debate that uh, um, ask them to debate that question. Usually they're uh, they're live fri uh, on Fridays at 6 p.m. Eastern, but ring the bell, then you'll know. All right, guys, we've been going for about an hour here. I'm gonna do one more race. And then uh, that's going to be it for today. Oh, yeah, Miko, you don't have a PS4. I mean, it depends. A PS4 has a lot of good games. If you're into different kinds of games that aren't necessarily um, just racing games, PS4 has a lot of good games. And we have a new subscriber, Neo, a bunch of numbers. Welcome, Neo, followed by numbers. But yeah, PS4 has a lot of a lot of uh, good games. My favorite car of all time, ugh. I am so biased right now because I have a Tesla Model 3, so it is kind of my favorite car right now because it's the best car I've ever driven. Um, big fan of Tesla. Um, before that, I'm a big fan of Mazda. 
Mazda Speed 3. Mm hmm. Manual, standard. Quite, quite the car. Especially driving and ripping it in the snow. Back when I lived up north, that was fun. Nothing fancy. A lot of people have been requesting that I start a a let's play of the new uh, Final Fantasy uh, 7 remake. Not sure if I'm ready to dive into this game. It does l look really, really good um, and really interesting, but I'm not sure I have. I mean, if the channel, if the if the gaming channel can grow um, enough then, yeah, I would definitely stream it on there. But, uh... You know, it does require a lot of effort to set up all this stuff, and, and, and if the channel grows... you know, becomes big enough, then, yeah, I will definitely stream you know, games that are brand new. I, I mean, I do have some brand new games, but... It would have been nice to stream it when it was brand new. It is kind of brand new still, but, you know, I mean... I feel like this is more of a nighttime race than the previous one that was described as a nighttime race. This kind of looks good here. When you play this game on an HDR compatible display, it looks really good in these uh, high contrast tracks and conditions. PS4 better than uh, Xbox gaming wise? I mean, it depends. I would say that I would say that PS4 definitely has more exclusive games. Um, but they're, I mean, they're both great. It, I personally, if I had to choose, my favorite console is actually my Nintendo Switch. Um, yeah. So, PS4 has really good exclusive, but again, like, everything is relative. I feel like the Switch has the better exclusive. When I play, you know, Zelda Breath of the Wild, or Mario Kart, or, you know, Luigi's Mansion, or... Bayonetta and all these games, they're just so good. So I think it really depends. But when you compare, you know, Xbox to PlayStation, Xbox definitely struggled this generation. Um, but if you like to also have your games on PC, then Xbox is a good proposition. Because you know, it allows you to do that. And there's backwards compatibility with 360 and even original Xbox for certain games, so that's very appealing for a lot of people. It just adds some value. Um, but yeah, it's hard to compete with PS4 exclusivity. You know, God of War, um, Horizon Zero Dawn, <laughs> so many, so many freaking games. All the Sony, you know, Uncharted. But I do find myself playing my PS4 less and less. And I'm kind of... I'm unsure about Sony's plans for the next generation. I feel like Sony has a tendency to, once they're on top, to drop the ball. 
like they did with the PS3 after the PS2. So I'm a little skeptical of what they will do with backwards compatibility with PS5, or is Microsoft kind of fully committed to it? So right now, I mean, I'm, I'm a big nerd, so I'll, I'll end up getting everything again, but I'm kind of leaning towards Xbox Series X over PS5. But we will see. It really depends on the games. Right. Yeah, PS4 did sell a lot more, for sure. All right, guys. Um, can you can you play Forza? <laughs> that cutesy smart toilet. Um, yes, you can. Yes, but you have to close your eyes, and um, you have to consume a lot of fiber. That's the only way it's going to work. All right, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, it was great streaming today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, we'll do it again. Again, make sure to subscribe to um, Redline Reviews Gaming uh, if you want to see more streams and different things. Um, yeah. See you guys in the next one.